Welcome to the... Uh-oh. I think I have coffee on my face. All right. Welcome to the Butter What Show. I'm uh, your host, Burton Guster. This is my co-host, Guy Buttersnaps. And we're going to talk to you today about glasses. Specifically old man glasses. Very old man glasses. Well, not very, but let's... Well, I didn't know you got them when you're 40. How old am I? Old. Old enough that you, that you don't even know how old it's you true. are. I went to get an eye exam, and they told me, sure, you could get bifocals, and they told me the numbers to get, and I ordered my glasses from the internet, where I learned. The important thing that I learned, that I didn't learn from the wonderful eye doctor that gave me my exam, is that there are three, well, I don't know, there might be others, but Zenny on the internet here, ZennyOptical.com, will give you glasses that are optimized, progressive bifocals, that are optimized for near, medium, and your normal standard distance. And I ordered the first ones, Tubby. The, the, the near. The near ones. And that's what I just put on my face here. I liked them so much, <laughs> I ordered the other two. Because I figured I need to learn what to wear, right? Yeah. The near and the medium don't have distance vision. So don't, it's probably not even don't legal drive. to drive with them. So I knew I needed the third one. I think everybody should do this. It only cost me about 125 bucks to get three of these glasses with three different. I got them in different colors. I've got uh, silver here for uh, so you probably can't tell the difference. And there's a black pair somewhere that are my outside distance okay. glasses. But I learned really quick with the near range, if I sit in the living room, I can't see the TV. Clearly. I mean, I can see it. I can make out what's going on. Yeah. I'm not saying I can't participate. But there's only that purple slice up there. If I look through that slice at the top, I can see the TV. But you can't see the whole TV. It's too tall. I got a crick in my neck after watching all of I Psych. know, right? <laughs> but then I tried the the regular standard progressives at my desk. And I have to do... It was fine. I talked to you guys in Discord. And the down at the bottom of the screen is where the text entry field was. I'm yep. like, oh, this is fine. But then I, to look up at the top of the screen, I had to do this. So that, yeah, it's awful. So I can't wear the standards in the house. Well, at least at my desk. At your desk. Yep. I've been forcing myself to wear the intermediates at my desk. And it works all right. And I'm learning right now because this is the first time I've put the near range back on since I've had the other ones for two days. This is quite a bit nicer at my desk then. But I was kind of expecting, after I went back and ordered them and looked at these pictures, I said, almost for sure the intermediates are what I'll wear everywhere at the house because they're good enough, and they are good enough at my desk. I can see the TV across the living. I can see my phone without doing this. You do this. Sometimes yeah. I do this. Yeah. All the time. But I also learned, fantastic, the standards. I can read my phone. I have to look kind of pretty far down but I can read my phone without taking my glasses off when I'm out. So I've got all the tools I need. It's just a bummer that I'm going to be switching glass. Yeah, how are you going to how are you going to manage that? Because if when if I do that, I know I'll have all the wrong glasses in all the wrong places. One of the nice things about these glasses being cheap on the internet is that I could buy extras, right? Yeah. I'm tempted to leave the the standards in the car up in the you know, the little glasses holder up there, and that's just where they're going to live. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a good answer yet. And maybe after I've lived okay. with these for a few months, I'll have a good answer. I'm tempted to still wear the intermediates, every, the mid-range, everywhere around the house and just switch glasses when I go out the door. Yeah, that makes... I mean, I think that makes sense. I'm looking at the picture. And I don't... I don't need... I only need them when I drive, Right. I went out, Chris said I was out of my mind for doing this, but I went out for a ride on my unicycle with these near-range progressives the first day. And at the park, at the distances I have to see, I could see all the signs, I can read everything. It's not, and it didn't cause me any weird balance issues with how odd the yeah progressives are just it, a little odd. Well, that's good. Yeah, I mean, so at least I, if, I, if I could zero in on the intermediates, I could wear them anytime I'm not driving. So like if somebody comes to pick me up and take me somewhere, or I take an Uber, I don't have to bring my long driving range, glasses. My driving glasses. I'm sure nobody watched our last live stream or the last episode. If you're tuning into this, you probably didn't see it. But my complaint was 
with regular glasses. Looking at my screen where it is right here, just out of arm's reach, it was blurry. And if I took my glasses off, it was equally but differently. A different kind of yeah, blurry. Not crisp. Or I mean, I knew indecisive. when I put these on, I was like, oh yeah, that's the way it used to be in the old days. It was fantastic. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. What was, uh, this is ages ago when I realized that I needed glasses. And it wasn't, my prescription wasn't very strong back then, but the description that I that I told all my friends was it was like going from a normal monitor to a, a Sony Trinitron monitor. Everything got just a little bit crisper. A little nicer, yeah. It's yeah. true. I know what I was going to tell you. Your laptop on your lap tubby is not too bad with the standards, and it's fantastic with the progressives because it's down so low. It's down You're low You're already kind of looking down through the... On the laptop, the intermediates were about as good as these. I don't know who this episode's for, Tubby. I don't know who else is in there. Other old we're, dudes, probably. We're right short of middle-aged, Brian. I looked up the definition. Oh, jeez. We're a few years. Really? What's middle What's middle age? 45? 46, maybe? Or maybe it's like after 45? I don't know. We're right there, Tubby. I, I'm after 45. You hear that? That's middle-aged knocking yes. on the door. <laughs> <laughs> what he's talking about he's, he's, he's right over here. here i got my hand on his shoulder <laughs> but tell me that's my glasses update and well, i'm happy good. about it i'm unhappy about it it would be nicer not to need glasses at all have you considered yeah. the laser surgery me no, neither no 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 mm -mm. i keep i, have I to, hear uh, enough stories about it not lasting forever and you hear about the halos people see around their eyes at night when there's headlights coming at you. I don't want to bifocals. I could just delete that from the list now. Bifocals. Done. Yeah, or done. 